Hello guys, this is Rabbitsmore, and this is my automatic potato farm that automatically replants itself. So let's check it out here. We have a fully grown potato farm here, and when we press our button, our water comes out, and washes all of our potatoes downstream here, and those get pushed down into our collection system here. And any that, it actually just collects enough so that it can actually come pick up what we've harvested, and it sends through enough potatoes up top so that when our villager comes out to replant the area, he will collect the potatoes also to be able to plant. So if you guys want to know how to build this, I'll put a link to my other video that shows how to build this my automatic wheat farm here. And you can pause this video and go check out that video. And he should start planting pretty soon here. But anyways, yeah, pause this video check out that video how to build it, and stop watching that video before you plant any wheat or give your villager any wheat seeds. And then come back to check out this video, and I'll show you how to tweak that build to work with potatoes. Alright guys, I did also want to point out that I will be including an MC Edit schematic of this build in the link below this video, if you want to just copy that into your world instead of building it. So. Whether you've used the MC Edit schematic to bring this into your world, or you've followed my other tutorial to build this, this is going to be how you're going to tweak that build to work with potatoes instead of wheat. So, let's go down into our system here, and I'm going to take out any of the wheat that we have in our system for our filters. And actually, before we get anything going down there, Let's make sure that we block off our water up top so that we don't have to worry about water coming down and washing away any of our redstone. And we're going to get rid of this second hopper here. We don't need that one anymore. And we'll get the wheat out of this bottom one here. And what we need to do is actually extend this redstone signal here. So we're going to need to come back here, break these out. And then we're going to need to come back here and modify our ice system a little bit as well. So make sure you break any torches you have around this area first, so that your ice doesn't accidentally melt here. And we need to take this corner of ice and put it down one more block, and take each of these and move them down one more as well. Once you've done that, you're good to go. So get yourself back out of there, and we can block up this area again, and then you can put up your torches again as well. Alright, now we need to move this area over. Let's get some spruce here. And actually, this will be a little easier to do from the side here. Since we lowered our ice there, we can now build this over here. Get two more repeated, or actually, we don't even need to worry about that one anymore. We only have one hopper. So, get you want two repeaters over here now. We'll get this all covered up again. Alright. And we're going to move this redstone over here and here. Then all we have to do is take our potatoes. And I'm going to go ahead and put four cobblestone in here. And we need to put 41. So let's get... Oops. Alright, 41 potatoes here, and put them in the top hopper, and then just go ahead and put one potato in your bottom hopper here. And that's it, the system's ready to go now. All you have to do is go to your villager here, and I did find out that any brown robed villager will work, it doesn't need to be a farmer, as long as they have a brown robe like this, it will work. And just go ahead and give them some starting potatoes to start planting your farm here and then just let them loose. So you can let them loose by starting your system here. That will unlock your door. We can unblock our water now. And now our villager, after a given amount of time, I'm not sure how long it will take, based on their AI. Well, there you go. <laughs> He'll come out and start planting your potatoes. And your system's ready to go. Your potatoes will grow. You can press your button to harvest them. Collect them in your chest down here and your villager will replant them on his own. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope this helped you out. Leave a like if you... whoops, <laughs> if this actually did help you out. And leave a comment if you have any questions, or if you want me to do any other types of videos. So, thanks for watching guys!